If you tell your story, if we're going off the premise that you are motivated to tell your story about this character or about this person because you feel like they deserve their story to be told. You feel, that's the premise. You're telling a story because you, you feel like your character deserves their story to be told. They deserve, they, they deserve recognition and you're going to give them that recognition by telling their story. And just like you tell any story about anyone, even in real life, they deserve their story to be told. You know, hey, listen to what this person did. How crazy is that? How cool is that? How brave were they? How smart are they? You know, or the opposite. How disgusting is that person? You better wait until you hear about this. Listen to how vile that person is, you know? You tell a story about an antagonist for that reason. We can imply that the reason that conflict exists in stories, the reason that there's this idea that, well, we need conflict in stories. We need conflict in stories because without stories, it's boring. Well, this is the whole point of why we tell these stories, because we tell stories about someone who we feel deserves their story to be told. Why do we feel they deserve their story to be told? Because they faced some form of conflict. In other words, hardship. In other words, challenge. In other words, opposition. Something like that. And you just got to know about this person. You got to know the strength that they showed. You got to know the bravery that they showed. And this also goes back to the video that I did before, where I talked about how you find meaningful purpose in side characters. It's because, well, you know, you know why you're telling your character's story, your main character's story. You feel like their story deserves to be told. There's something about them that people need to know. People need to hear. What about your side characters? There's one question that you can ask yourself, and it, this is not a cop-out, by the way, or one question. And so I think it, it's not that conflict is necessary in a story. It's not like a, a story needs conflict. I was going to say that it's more so that, that it's inevitable that, that a story will have conflict, but not necessarily. I'm going to say that the sort of story that you're telling, probably that you're driven to tell, probably stems from the fact that someone faced some sort of conflict. And that's why you want to tell someone a story about them. Because, again, the premise is, hey, you got to know what this person overcame. Hey, you got to know what this person faced. It's incredible. The strength they showed. And so it revolves around the whole idea that someone faced hardship or oppositional challenges and that they overcame it. I don't think you're telling the sort of story about how you woke up one day, was hungry, ate some food and went to bed. <laughs> I think the sort of story you want to tell and the sort of story that other people want to know about um, and is probably going to be because this is a person who you need to know about. And you're going to tell their story because they deserve that recognition. They deserve to know what they overcame or what they fell to, like an antagonist. So there you go.